Brad Voigt joining us on Q's TV. And Brad, uh, your first multi-goal game last time out. How cool was that to finally get that in the bag? You know, uh, it was great. I know they hit the back of that a couple times, and I could have done it a couple more times. So there's always area for improvement. So, you know, going forward, just got to keep on working and stuff like that. But to hit the back of that a couple times in one game is pretty good, pretty fun. For you as a sophomore, we see Nate uh, as a sophomore. You guys combined for six last yeah. game. Is it fun to see you as young guys evolve as the season goes along? Yeah, it's really fun. And, you know, as uh, being good friends with Nate, we hang out all the time and, you know, being in the same grade, it's always great seeing him out there. You know, he's a starter for us. He's, he, he puts in great minutes and he makes great plays. So, you know, watching him off the bench, it's like, you know, giving me, you know, some, uh, you know, motivation when I get out there, you know, a sophomore to sophomore type thing. But, uh, mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's really fun to watch and be out there with them as well. So it's good. And I guess your two skills kind of bounce off each other with yeah. you being more of the crease guy and maybe yeah. him being more of the dodger. Yeah. No, I, yeah, we talked about that. We talked about that all the time, actually, because, you know, he puts in all the work, really. And I just, you know, <laughs> just find myself open on the backside most of the time, like in practice, especially. You know, he likes to dodge and beat his guy. And I'm just like there, I guess. I just find the open space. That's I, that's my job. And, you know, Nate's really good at dodging. And I, I just, I guess I'm just the, the, uh, the finisher. So. All right, we found out uh, this morning you guys are officially number one in the country right now. Do you guys talk about it? How, how does that hit the team at this point of the year? Uh, you know, it's actually weird. We haven't really talked about it at all. Like, you know, like last week being number two, uh, we were kind of we were kind of shocked a little bit, but, you know, we were fine with it. I think we know that we're, like, one of the best teams in the country, if not the best team in the country. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of weird, you know, being number one going to practice today was just, you know, just another practice. Not a lot of people are talking about it. We're just doing what we've been doing and keep on working hard. And then, Looking forward. Do you think that might just the way you guys are thinking about it and talking or not talking about it might help you handle it better than other teams have? Because number one's had a rough yeah, year here yeah, this yeah, year. They have, you know, six six in a row. Uh, number one's gone down six weeks in a row. So uh, I think that's going to help us out a lot. Uh, we just go in thinking, you know, being positive, not being too cocky, and uh, just keep on working hard. Number one, yeah, it's nice to be number one, but we're not done. We we got the ACCs and you know the big NCAA tournament after that. So. And you end up with it and maybe the toughest week you have on your yeah, schedule, yeah, of course, here. How, how do you handle yeah. this week with, with the two games and uh, two big games this yeah. week? Um, I mean, Cornell's going to come in the Dome really pumped up, and we had, we had a good practice today, and I think, I think we're going to be – we're going to match up well with them tomorrow. I think we're ready. And, uh, you know, we got to bounce back quick. we got to travel down to North Carolina, who just beat Virginia last night, and, you know, they're playing really well right now. So I think it's, it's definitely a big week for us. But uh, I think, you know, I think we have some good practices. I think we're mentally and physically ready, so I think it'll be a good week. And lastly, Brad, how do you guys look back at last year's game? Not that you were involved in it a lot, and certainly will be more this year, but a tough loss, a game I think you guys thought you had, and one of the ones that got away. Right, yeah. Um, you know, I think there's more emphasis on this game this year, losing to them, going there last year and losing in overtime. Um, we're definitely focusing more and taking it more seriously this year, especially, you know, being the number one team in the country. We're not going to take them lightly, and uh, it's going to be a big game, and Cornell always plays us tough, but I think we're ready for it. All right, man. Enjoy tomorrow night. Yep, thank you.